Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I'm in today the beautiful town of Storrs in Connecticut, one of the most fantastic places in the state, the home of Yukon. I'm just a stone's throw at the moment from uh, the iconic Four Corners, uh, which marks the big entrance. And um, I'm here today with my wife and with my father-in-law, Emmett Schneiderman, who appeared on the channel last year talking about Codfish Falls. We're embarking today on a uh, type of exploration we're going into the deep back and beyonds of stores and we're going to check out a colonial era cave that was used to sell roots. So I'm all equipped, so uh, let's go and let's see what uh, the back and beyonds of stores has to offer. So the only thing most people who have heard the name stores know is that it's the home of Yukon. There's actually a lot going on here. There's a whole downtown area there's even an adventure park and stories is kind of the gateway to other great towns in this area like Willimantic we went to the Willimantic Brewing Company last night uh, it's a pretty small place it was kind of totally at odds with my conception of life in the USA previously I'd only been to New York City and Boston and to see a small little town like this has been a really interesting experience I actually like stories there is a little bit of everything here um, and when uh, Yukon is out of session, like when I visited last summer and this summer, it's actually really quiet. You won't find so many people around, but it's kind of peaceful. And because Yukon has a strong background in agricultural schooling, um, you'll just see some amazing land out here. Beautiful views of cornfields and other fields. So um, it's a nice part of Connecticut if you're looking for somewhere in the US that's a bit more uh, slow paced. Okay, we're about to go into this uh, root cellar that uh, dates back to colonial times. Uh, we don't really know much about it other than an archaeologist recently said that it was uh, colonial. It's either for storing root, root vegetables and other things during the hot months, uh, but also possibly a place where when someone would die in the dead of winter where the ground was too frozen to bury them, they would could store bodies in here as well. Answer. I'm gonna go inside, take a look. Really got very nice construction, rounded, nice rounded walls, huge slabs above it. When I was a teenager, some of my friends would uh, hang out in here and actually camp out here. Uh, so it was a popular location for certain people. And it's even been described in a book by Tim Page. So I've only ever visited Storrs, Connecticut during the summertime, which is typically pretty warm and temperate uh, as it is at the moment. But I'm told by Emmett and by other people living in uh, Storrs and indeed in New England uh, that the winters here are particularly brutal, lots and lots of uh, snow and ice, etc. So you can just imagine a couple of centuries ago uh, when the American Revolution was being fought, this uh, town of Storrs sending out its uh, young soldiers out to fight uh, in the war and then passing through as well because Storrs is in a really, in Connecticut, in a very interesting location, kind of equidistant uh, between Boston and New York. So although Storrs is very, very peaceful now and a humble place with mostly Yukon, in uh, previous eras it would have been amazing to be a fly on the wall to witness uh, people, George Washington himself, passing right through Four Corners and perhaps even this cave. Yeah, we had lots of great times in these woods growing up. Um, not just right over there, there are a bunch of old jalopies, old rusted out trucks from uh, the teens and 20s. We used to play around on those and we'd make forts out of all the wood and leaves and stuff. Uh, there's a little brook we'll show you in a moment. We would uh, make rafts and float them down the stream. So uh, yeah, we had lots of good times here. Our, we'd leave home early in the morning and weekends in the summer and come back at dinner at about six o'clock and our parents never really worried about us. Occasionally we'd step on some glass and end up in the emergency room, but that was about it. The, brambles really the remarkable thing about the community of stores is that for a quiet place it's almost as if the entire history 
of modern America is etched into it. Even though you can just see around me some uh, trees and maybe the sounds of a few uh, ticks and other uh, creatures rustling around here, this was actually, some of this tract of land uh, was actually uh, arable farmland and you would have had cows grazing here. You can actually see the old walls where the farmers of the area would have put up uh, to uh, you know to keep their herds at bay and we're just coming up to a uh, river here and uh, this was of course um, you know just a couple hundred years ago as I mentioned previously when the American Revolution was uh, was being fought uh, you can just imagine uh, perhaps George Washington himself coming in through the four corners just a hundred meters that way and uh, seeing this uh, this very townland so there's a lot more to uh, the quiet sleepy town of stores than meets the eye